I'm Casey Gonzalez. And I'm Quinn McPherson, and we're here with BU News Service. We're outside the Copley Square polling location to talk to voters about what this election means to us. What was your feeling when you put your ballot in the mail? How did you feel? I feel it's good. So I have no doubt. I don't think it will be damaged or be uh, treated by somewhere else. I early voted in my town um, and just went on a random weekend and did all the things I needed to do. Yeah. And then today I was told that there were lines out of our normal polling place. So that made me feel good that people are exercising their democracy. I voted in in person. Oh, really? Where did you vote? Jamaica Plain. What were some of the main issues motivating you to vote this year? First of all, I vote every year because I think it's our civic duty. But the things she stood for were the things I believe in. Uh, women's reproductive rights, uh, fairness, truth, uh, honesty, integrity. Uh, I don't like uh, somebody with a foul mouth as president. I don't think that he would be a good representative for our country, and I think Kamala Harris would be. And I like the I like the diversity aspect because we are a diverse country after all. Oh, I just vote for Republic Republican. So, no, no, no doubt because I don't really like uh, illegal immigrants, and I want to I don't want to open the board. Anything that's like makes things you know things like Medicare and uh, Social Security and. Healthcare th- things are important for me. You know, I think I think anything that pushes that kind of stuff forward, um, public public uh, good stuff. I I am really committed uh, to Kamala Harris and her ideals. You know, I was proud to have voted for Harris. I'm I'm hopeful that she'll win. I'm still very concerned about the state of our democracy. I think a lot of people really have lost trust in our institutions. Um, I believe she's the best person to address that, but I'm still concerned about the future of our democracy. I'd love it if Trump lost, because then I'd, I'd really be happy to never hear his name again. In terms of the general political climate in the last year leading up to this specific day, um, how have you felt about that? I'm scared. I, I, I think we live in a bubble here. I'm very grateful to live in this area because my friends are like-minded. But I understand that not everybody is. And I understand that people come from their own individual experiences and may see things differently and think differently. Uh, Worried, (laughs) but hopeful, I guess, would be probably the best I could say. My my concern is less about polarization and more, and this is my personal view, that one side is very disconnected from the facts and one side is very comfortable lying to its own electorate. And while people are welcome to disagree, uh, I'm just concerned that... uh, You know, we can have disagreements, but if we have to at least have them rooted in fact. So I'm more concerned about that in the long term than I am polarization itself. How do you feel um, the United States is going to react to either outcome? I think I think no matter the outcome, we're going to have some happy people and we're going to have some disappointed people. Um, And we're going to have to figure out how to move forward from there. Not only just as an individual voter, but for the American people as a whole, what do you hope that they can take away um, from this 2024 election? Um, that democracy is still worth fighting for and that, uh, that we can still improve our lives by voting and that it's all still worth it.